So this has been my rig for a few weeks now, so this is a uh, 20 watt head on top, um, a JCM 900 SLX uh, for the bottom, doing the rhythm, so uh, that's the 20 watt on top. Sorry I've got my back to you, but I've got more pedals on the floor and I have to operate oh, a big challenge for space in this place. So let's have a little hack around. So I'll just record a quick rhythm. basic tone than the SLX. Okay, so here we are looking in the back of the uh, vintage modern. So um, here you can see the uh, big old KT66 valves. Um, these are uh, branded tube amp doctor, but they're actually Shiguangs, and uh, they're uh, I'm not a fan of them because um, check this out, really poorly made. They were mu microphonic when I first got this amp, but they've settled down to not be microphonic, which is kind of strange. But the envelopes are all wobbly, so I'm going to remove these. I'm going to um, insert a little like epoxy around the bases to make the envelopes steady, but I'm not going to use these. I'm going to replace them. And these uh, preamp valves, there are sort of miscellany so uh, at some point um, I'll replace those as well so try and make this thing sound better and also just make me more happy with the quality of, of the valves that are inside it these as you may be able to see on your image are the original Marshall branded valves and it does annoy me that Marshall use um, Shiguang valves so they're, although they're branded Tube Amp Doctor, they're actually Shiguang valves, and I just oh, I hate them. So uh, yeah, we'll sort that out. Now we get the uh, amp chassis out of the head box. Sports screws will do. 
Okay, so here we go. That's screw on done. We don't have to worry about the chassis tipping out because uh, it rests on the pieces that hold the back, back panel. So it's all very well designed. It's like Marshall have been at it a while or something. Be careful where you put your hands. You don't want to loop the bottom of the chassis is open. You don't want to loop your hands round and grab any components inside the amp because there may be deadly voltages inside. So get this out. And that's what I mean. Don't get your hands anywhere in there when you're pulling the chassis out. Put this to one side. get this sorted out and then you can lay the chassis upside down in here let me show you so, bring this piece back in just lay them in there Yep. Now you can power the whole thing up, the valves in it, without worrying about damaging any of the valves or anything like that. Cool. Alright, so let's get you repositioned. So the object of particular interest to us right now is this. This little three pin connector block here. These. So these are the bias test points. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a multimeter and we'll test between the center and the outer two pins on this three pin connector and we'll see what the bias voltage is currently. Of course the amp needs to be turned on, connected to a speaker load. Never run a valve amp without any speakers connected. And then we'll measure that voltage. So, got a meter out, set the volts, plugged into the mains on the amp, we're on, but we have not taken off standby yet, we've got the speaker connected, not important, as I said, okay, so now we're off standby, we'll measure this bias forward then, so center pin negative, Okay, so put that somewhere where you can see it. I'm creating shorts. So we're biased to seventy eight point five millivolts. Just test the other side. a little higher 85.1 okay so the valves probably aren't that greatly matched but they're really old so probably drifted okay this is the uh, bias adjustment pot it's a potentiometer here um, so we'll get those valves out and we'll change we'll no doubt need to rebias the amp so here are our new power valves, 
pretty fancy boxes. But uh, it does say made by Electro Harmonics on there. But you know. Depending on which valves they are, I found sometimes Electro Harmonics valves sound really nice. Anyway. Show you how we get these out. So they're probably pretty hot there. Yeah. And as I s you saw, the envelopes were all wobbly. So what I'm going to do is press down on the retainers and pull these out by their bases. There we go. Check out the old weevil wall. Yeah, let's try and fix that. So I proceed similarly. There's a quick close-up of how these look. They uh, do look pretty fly, to be honest. So insertion is a reversal of removal. So I'll start down here. Um, locate the little key. You see that? This, is, this piece is called the spigot. And that little piece sticking out is like a keyway key. And there's a little notch in the valve socket that it lines with. To count screw things up, push the retainer down. Push the valve in. It's okay to push on the envelope. And rinse and repeat. Okay, so they're all installed and looking wonderful. Um, just before um, I put the amp uh, the other way up, and check the bias. I just want to show you these preamp valves. So these are the ones that were in it when I got it. I didn't get it new. So there's a Tongue Soul 12x7 there. There's a Marshall branded, obviously original, uh, in V1. There's a Ruby, and so that's another Marshall branded one, probably original. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, now flip it over power it up and test the um, voltage at that test point again. Okay, so we've warmed up, so the amp's been um, on, but with the standby switch off, so it's been on standby. So now I'm going to fully power it up, get off standby, it's fully on, and uh, now we'll probe the voltage at those test points. That test point, or rather. Nearly 3.2. A4. I looked up the spec for this amplifier and um, it calls for 80. I mean, that's pretty much balls on. But um, I think I'll maybe give it a tweak just to. Hundred percent meet the spec, so I'll just twiddle this down a teeny smidge. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, eight two point three. Eighty-three. Turn down the mirrors. Smidge again. Two one. Now, this is close enough. I'm only like doing this for the purposes of demonstration, really. Um, and you can play with the values to, um, to your musical taste. Um, 
particularly in the 20 watt head that I normally use, um, I really more biased that by ear, and then I just uh, checked the voltages on a meter, just to be sure they weren't insane. So if you um, bias at too high a voltage, well it's actually amperage, but if you bias at too high a voltage you will um, cause the life of your valves to be shortened. So we've got 80 there, and if you're too root mad excessive about it, you may even cause your valves to visibly um, destroy themselves in front of your eyes. And we've got 81 on that side, 82-ish on that side. Um, okay, going to go with that. We'll see how it sounds. So I've now changed the preamp valves, this amplifier. Now the General Dex Gold Lions looking very resplendent. Um, I do typically use JJ uh, tube valves, um, new production ones, but um, I found that the JJ KT6s are really 5881s just in a KT66 lookalike bottle, so haven't bothered with them. Um, this is sort of like the best new production. I could find really the General X ones. Um, yeah, so uh, these are ECC 83 MGs in the first two positions and ECC 83 S's in uh, three and four because those are all I had. Um, I only had two ECC 83 MGs. Um, shooting cans go on the first two. So I'll do that, screw this all back together, and I had to take a break from filming because I went out and about to do something. Look what I got. Got that for 90 quid. Old uh, 60s Colesbro 60 watt valve amplifier. Um, so I'm going to mess around with that in a bit. Um, I'll do a video on that at some point, um, but for now, um, I will put together the uh, vintage modern and do a little sound test on it, and call this video quits. Okay, so I'll sort of put you back where you were. Let's now try that. And see if it sounds any different. Thank you. 
school amps like JMPs it's a bit more difficult but on modern ones it's as easy as that um, right so that's it for that video um, that was a resounding success um, as I say I'll epoxy together these wobbly pieces of crap and I keep them as spares I suppose um, but that's it uh, please um, comment on the video um, please subscribe to my channel really need subscribers I've got like about 100 or 116 or something like that please Please subscribe, I really need the validation, I'm feeling very frail and small, so, you know, big me up by subscribing to my channel. Um, play more content to come, tell me what you'd like to see, etc, etc. Cheers, bye.